Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chris with the Sea. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. On the table, we've got my absolutely awesome Techno MT410 2.0. Now, with it being uh, obviously a kit build, it doesn't come with a body, it doesn't come with wheels, and I've just kind of finished up the car. And the plan is now, basically, I'm going to take you on a little bit of a journey of me actually painting the body, getting it prepared, and then actually mounting up to the vehicle. There's a couple of key things you obviously you're going to need to do. Um, I have had a few people mention in the comments previously about how do you actually paint the body. So yeah, I'm going to take you through the process. Nothing elaborate on this one, guys. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I've got one colour in particular that I want to use on it. And yeah, so let's dive down. I'll put the head cam on. I'll show you around obviously the car, we'll have another look at the Techno MT410 and the body I'm gonna use, and then I'll start giving you a little couple of little tips for painting along the way. Uh, massive thank you to each and every one of you obviously watching all the videos, all the likes, shares, and subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we're on our way to 2,700 uh, subs now, guys. Really is just starting to move, and all, all I can do is actually thank you for following me along with the ride. Come on in, let's dive down. Right, okay, so as you can see, guys, I'm actually going for a Big Rock uh, 3S crew cab body to go on the MT410. Uh, the reason why I've gone with this is if you look, actually, the wheel arches fit perfectly um, uh, um, in between. So essentially, it's, it is definitely a, a one tenth scale. Oh, by the way, guys, these are the brand new Louise wheels, a pills I've picked to go on there. I think it's going to look kind of cool. Uh, we've got some sticker sheets obviously the, to apply on the vehicle after uh, some armor stickers I'm going to use so I'm not going to mask the windows out on this I am going to use uh, the armor stickers but I will be covering up any reference to armor and the colors I'm going to be using guys are what well, Tamiya PS33 which is they, they class it as a cherry red to me that definitely looks like a pink but there you go um, and also PS1 with white to back it now there are a few couple of steps that I need to kind of go through on the process. Now number one is finding the crack mounting point because I am going to need to trim the body as well there. Um, and also using this. Now what you would do because obviously this is covered on the outside with a layer of uh, uh, protective film. Leave the protective film on alright. You want to leave that on. But see where the body posts are. You're going to need to get yourself a sharpie and some, some way of reaming the body out guys so obviously making the holes i have got a, a body reamer to do that and i'm going to need to mark up the holes on the front but uh, quite an easy process i'm going to put the head cam on in a moment and then obviously i'll show you how i'm doing it as i'm going along uh by the way guys i did mention in the last video for any of you techno owners uh eight by six uh sorry five by sixteen by eight bearings actually fit straight into the car uh, for the wheelie bar, it's going to give you a lot better movement on the because I, I do believe this is actually going to go wheels up. By the way, if you want to have a quick look underneath, this is what we're ended up with. I'm still waiting on the ESC at the moment, but yeah, she's looking absolutely stunning. Um, really, really like the way it's all built. Very, very happy. Very, very happy. Right, let's pause the video and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is obviously prepare the car ready for painting um, and the body, alright? So what we are going to need, a couple of key things, get, get yourself ready for this, alright? Get yourself some isopropyl, 99% alcohol, you're going to use that for cleaning up the body after. Um, it's, I, I would 110% recommend doing that. Now you are as well going to be washing the inside, alright? The reason being, you will need... A scouring pad something to rough up the inside of the body and give it a good key so obviously what you want to do is basically go inside all the panels and, and give it all a good wipe so uh, obviously the paint then you can spray over it uh, and it's going to stick to the actual uh, this instead of it being smooth you're giving it a surface to grab to the other thing get yourself a sharpie all right you are going to need one of those obviously for lining up your body now um i'm gonna kind of go over this two seconds because i are we, i am gonna need to actually trim a little bit of the front of the body here all right to make the car sit down low enough for the body's 
not the body, sorry, the body posts to actually uh, sit level. Um, the other thing is, we could essentially take it up a little bit, I suppose, maybe. I might, let's have a look. If I raise them body posts, all right, um, I could bring it up a slightly a bit, like so. And I think they'll probably look a bit better, actually. And then we wouldn't have to trim the body so much. So there is that. But obviously, I'm still going to need to mark the holes there. Get yourself some decent gloves, obviously, so you don't get a paint all over your hands. Uh, your paint, get a warm cup of water to warm up, obviously, your paint and everything. Um, put them in water, and that will allow, uh, allow the paint to flow a bit better. Make sure you take your body clips off as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and a body reamer, guys. Quite important. Um, now, you don't have to use a body reamer, but it does help a lot. Let me just show you what I mean. So, this is a body reamer. All right, what that'll allow you to do is create a perfect hole. Once you've marked your holes, obviously you can go in and then use the reamer to cut out the holes with. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is just prepare myself for painting. I'm going to start marking up around the car uh, where the holes need to be and, and how I'm going to want it. I might raise these posts as well and I'll come straight back to you. Right, okay guys, so as you can see, I've actually marked out with my Sharpie where the body post is going to be. I have read the body post to the most upper position because that's actually made the body level. Uh, so we've marked out there, there, there and there. That's where the, I'm going to make my holes. And I've also marked out at the front of the car where the, the bumper is going to be so it doesn't catch. I might go slightly bigger. We're going to have to judge it in a moment. So first things first, what I need to do here is actually cut out my holes for the body. All right, so I have made my marks, as you can see, in a Sharpie pen. Now be careful when you're doing this, obviously you don't end up cutting yourself. There you go, guys. Don't worry about any any burr that's on there because that's going to come off. Let's just check that that will go over there. That should be all right. And again. Okay, so body posts turned. As you can see, they should be all right. Might make them slightly bigger. Is okay. So my body posts are going to sit in there quite nicely bearing in mind we are going to cut out the front of this so we will sit down okay let's make the holes in the rear now once this is painted guys I will be um, also using some Gorilla Tape or possibly even shoe glue just to strengthen the body there's one hole So now the body posts on the back sit down lovely, as you can see, no issues there. And then on the front, oh, we're caught on the side there. Once I've cut it out, it should sit down quite nicely. Now I might need, if you can look here, might need to just 
go slightly wider on that one so i'm just gonna get my scissors i'll be back now right so as you can see holes all cut out um i have checked the body pins what i've also done in the front as you can see is make this little curve here um you don't have to make it too pretty guys on, on the cut there because it is hidden behind the bumper um, I couldn't find my curved scissors, so unfortunately I had to kind of curve them myself, but there you go, whatever. Uh, the next step now is we're going to start washing the body out, getting it ready now, using the scourer and getting it ready for paint. Uh, we want to try and remove any fingerprints or debris off the car, so when the paint sticks to the, the body, um, it's not going to leave big fingerprints everywhere and look terrible. So I'm just going to do that now and we'll move over to the sink. Right, okay guys, so I've got the body here, as you can see. All right, if you hold it up to the light, there are fingerprints all over it. So what, what we're going to do here, okay, is we are actually going to key up the body. So you want to kind of get in on the body and basically give it a good old rub down, get into all the areas where you think the paint might not stick. And what you're looking for, I don't know if this is going to come up on camera, see the key defect here. You're basically giving it a good kind of prepping. Get down in all the areas. And then in a moment, we're going to be washing it then in some warm soapy water. Now, I'm sure there's other ways of doing this. Uh, this is the way that I do it guys, all right? So I'm just kind of showing you my process. If you want to follow along, you can. But uh, it works for me. Paint seems to stay on and that's all that matters really. Right, now you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I'll uh, pause the video. Right, okay, so I've given it a good key in now. Um, we want to kind of remove any debris or any contaminants in the car, so obviously your paint is, is going to dry. Uh, what you can do, guys, with this is get yourself a nice towel um, and a hairdryer to kind of dry the body out. You don't want any any bubbles left in it. Give it a good swill after. But... Um, Good clean out, use a soft spot and punch. There you go. Right, okay. Then give it a rinse. Okay. Set that aside there to dry off a second. As you can see, I am in a well-ventilated area. I've used this prop box, obviously, to, to give me a nice little area to work on. Um, your can of paint, pop that into the water. All right, the reason why we're doing this is we want the paint nice and warm before we start applying it to the vehicle. Um, you are, and the next step, guys, is grab yourself a beer, some of the vape on, and chill out. No, I'm joking. Um, basically, just wait a sec, all right? Wait for your paint to warm up a little bit and then we'll go from there. But um, the body's all prepped and ready to go. Uh, we've got removed any contaminants. You can quite see some of the marks we've put on the body. That won't actually show up when you paint, guys, so don't panic. And then uh, we're just waiting for the paint. I'm gonna grab myself a cloth and we'll go from there. Right, got myself a piece of paper. So you don't need to leave it in for too long because it won't take long to warm it up. Um, what we're doing now guys, all right, is we want to do nice fluid motion with the paint. So don't go sort of all over. You want to kind of go a light dusting, light coats, uh, um, and working from back to front or front to back, whichever way you feel better. Right. Make sure you're covering all the areas. Right, that's enough. Now leave it. Light, light dusting. Let that settle a second. 
Um, you can speed up the process a little bit by using a hairdryer, and that's what I'm gonna do just to speed up the video. So give me a second, I'll come straight. Right, okay guys, so the body I have painted all one color, as you can see. Now the idea is, is when you're painting, is basically if you hold it up to sun, direct sunlight, you don't wanna see any patches in the body. You want it all to be even, and that's what I've done. Now, I've actually put about eight, nine layers on you, all right, and let it dry off one at a time. Now, one of the key things to mention you, all right, is what you want to do is always back it with a different color. So you could, two colors really, uh, uh, you can back this with, is black, which will give it a deeper looking color, or white, which will make it pop. So we're gonna go with white, all right, because I wanted to stand out and look sort of brashing in your face. Um, ignore the outside, because obviously, bearing in mind, we have got that protective film on there. But uh, yeah, um, so I'm now gonna back this with white, and then I'll come back to you in a second. Guys, so as you can see, I've backed it all with white. Um, it's come out really, really nice, actually. Let's go outside so you can see the color properly. So yeah, all white, um, I backed all that. You can see with the paints by there. And then the colour. There you go, guys. Absolutely lovely. Really, really like it, actually, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't think I would like this, but uh, I think it's going to stand out, that's for sure. Right, let's go back up top, shall we? Right guys, so welcome back. I um, hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Uh, I have had a few people mention it on the channel, obviously, about um, painting the body. Um, key things to remember. Preparation is definitely one of them. Um, you will get a nice finish if you take your time painting. Um, two, make sure you're giving it a good wash out. Use some, if you can get your hands on some, get some uh, cleaning alcohol, obviously, for... Um, making sure you wipe any uh, kind of debris or oils off your hand or something like that. Uh, three, light coats all the way through. Keep the, the flow of paint nice and straight from start to finish. Work your way, work your way. Don't, you know, kind of dot, dot all around the car because the problem is with that is you build up paint in, in, in big areas then and then it's hard to get a nice even finish. Uh, three, make sure you're leaving it between coats as well. Um, if you want to speed up the process a little bit, use a hairdryer, that will help. Um, and then basically, uh, make sure that before you apply your, your backing coat, e.g. white, black, maybe silver, whatever it may be, um, make sure the paint is nice and dry. And then, obviously, um, leave it then. I would say leave it for about 12 hours. Let the paint tack up, harden, um, and then you're good to go. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Anyway, uh, uh, I do appreciate all the likes, shares, and subscribes on the channel at the moment. Honestly, it really is appreciated. Um, we're heading to 2,700 subs, and I can only thank you for it. Guys, um, check the box for more videos. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Stay awesome.